Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, just a little quick video for you for a bumper mod uh, for the uh, Volcano EPX. Uh, one of the problems with this vehicle is the canopy is drilled so that it sits too far forward um, and it sits nice at the back though. So you, uh, if you want to have everything evened out, you can drill holes, okay, and reshift your canopy back a bit. So I don't feel like drilling holes quite yet because I came up with another idea. I strip a lot of new bright toys down um, whenever I get them and uh, that aren't fixable or whatever. And this is one of the pieces that actually is almost like a handle at the back. You can basically cart the thing around anyway. Um, it fits right across the uh, bumper area here perfectly. And I was actually going to just, you know, drill it and put some screws in because there's actually some screw holes um, through the uh, front uh, guard plate. But then I thought, nah, I don't really feel like doing that. And am I going to get the angle right? And I thought, hey, zippy ties. So I drilled an extra hole in the uh, new bright piece and uh, looped a zip tie down on each side here so I could loop it around and it'd go on nice and snug. And because everything sits even, it's even more bonus. Uh, put one, put uh, tied two zip ties together here in the middle. I could have actually used just one big heavy duty one, but I thought, yeah, I'm gonna keep it all yellow. Anyway, and then of course two down here by the strut, uh, by the shocks on the uh, shock tower. And I'm like, hey, no interference, awesome. So now I can actually take on some good hits on my front end and not damage my canopy because when we get this all put on here, where's the, there we go, right there. We have the body clips. So now my back end is still the same and protected. And for as long as my zip ties last, I mean, you know, they're going to last. But at least now if I take a front end hit, there's very little chance of doing any kind of damage to the front of my shell. Eventually I'm going to just get a different shell for the truck, because um, I'm going to change it to something different. But right now I don't have the money for that, so... I wanted to have everything protected ahead of time before I go out and bash the daylights out of this thing. So we got some space here at the back, which we all know about. So there's your back end. Let me just change the angle of the camera up a little bit. There we go. So there's the kind of clearance you have, which is actually pretty good. You know, if you have back into something hard, you're going to hit the bumper. And these are spring-loaded bumpers, too. Now on my front end, this bracket actually comes right up nice and flush with the top here. So now if I take a frontal hit, I'm going to push in, but I'm not going to split anything. So I'm all good now. And that's how it looks from on the underside. So just a uh, idea for you guys that you know, if you've got any new bright toys kicking around or, you know, uh, you've got a place like a Value Village or a secondhand store, that sort of thing, keep your eyes out for uh, new bright vehicles that have this uh, shape and style of a handle either on the front of the vehicle or on the back. Um, and you'd be able to take that part off and just zippy tie it in place. Because, I mean, the way I look at it, if I take a good hard enough hit, my zip tie should break down below first, you know, me, you know, and uh, then of course I still got the other ones retaining it on there. So it's not like I don't have another chance at breaking another zip tie. The thing is, if you do take a good hard hit, at least the shell is protected. Because a lot of people um, are not going to understand right away on exactly how to precisely measure these holes um, so that they go perfectly even. And... Um, also, some of us just don't want to do it. Now, I know how to do it, I can do it, but I don't want all the extra holes in the shell. Um, it's really just not a thrilling thing. And uh, so I thought, well, what have I got around here? 
you know, because I, I also had this bumper here, but then, you know, that's not going to attach right, and I'd have to put it on the bottom skid. Now that would actually look kind of cool. Let me just change the angle of the camera again. Sorry about that. So I was going to use this thing here, and I could attach it to the bottom skid plate, but that means drilling some holes. Now that would give me a nice, good, safe bumper there, but it's still easy opportunity if you get the right kind of a roll, you're still going to come down and all that space could still crack your, your Lexan uh, shell. So this way, everything still kind of looks all natural, and everything's nicely protected because there's no forgiveness up in this area so it's it's fine you know and here you got a bit of flex which is fine because that's what you got at the back so i think that's going to work so anyways let me know what you guys think of that and uh we'll uh catch you oh before i let you go one little update on this um the updated version of the volcano has waterproof or water resistant electronics it's one thing I didn't notice when I was uh, doing my first, you know, main video on this. And, because uh, I wasn't really paying attention, turns out I actually do have the new updated version of the Volcano with uh, the waterproof slash uh, water resistant electronics. So, uh, that's actually bonus. So, um, kudos on that one. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.